Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to bring you around 20 fragrances that are seasonless. So often uh, in the fragrance community, we talk about our summer, our spring, our fall, our winter, our warm weather, our cold weather. Like every free fragrance has some sort of label, but these are fragrances. They stay in my rotation year round. Uh, a lot of them are really elegant. You can wear them as signature fragrances. Uh, they're easy reaches in a lot of ways. And so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to share with you. You, but before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. If you already are a part of the community, you guys are awesome. I am so, so thankful for you. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first fragrance that I have for you is by Melig Perfumes and it's called Cherry Rose. Uh, now this is Essentially, it's a cherry rose fragrance. Um, it's a little bit of a powdery rose. The cherry is quite bright and delicate. And then as it dries down, you get this beautiful chocolatey patchouli combination. Uh, it's a little bit spicy in the dry down, but this is something that you could wear during the day, really long lasting. As it dries down, it deepens up a little bit. So as you head towards like four o'clock in the afternoon, this one is a little bit more kind of sexy in a way. Uh, so really neat fragrance, really neat morpher. The projection is good on this one. Um, although I don't always smell it on myself. So can't necessarily smell it all the time, but I'll just get these wafts every once in a while. Really neat fragrance and really, really versatile. Next fragrance is a bombastic fruity fragrance that's slightly obnoxious and I'm in love with it. And it is Jasmine Wisp by Rasasi. Now this one, uh, major, like it's got passion fruit, there's coconut, there's peach, there's tons of notes in this one. Uh, it just comes across as a very fruity, uh, loud, celebratory, kind of in your face, obnoxious fragrance. Um, this one works really, really well as a fruity fragrance in the winter, like in the cold. It still projects amazing. Longevity is phenomenal. This one, maybe not great for work, uh, but if you wanna throw this one on for just a fun day, it's great. Uh, the longevity and the projection is beast mode on this one. So in the winter, you can go a little heavier. In the summer, I would do like maybe a couple of squirts. Uh, but whenever I've worn this in the summer, I don't find that it's cloying, even though it's potent. Uh, so really, really fun fragrance. Um, it's definitely not blind by worthy. So you got to sniff this one first or you're taking a chance. Um, it took me a while to warm up to this and now like my mouth waters when I smell it. I love this one and it gets me compliments. Okay, you know I go hard for Nina Ricci Lextas, so I'm not going to belabor it. This is a beautiful rose raspberry kind of caramel fragrance. Um, I would wear this more in the fall and the winter, but you certainly can wear this in the spring and the summer as well. Um, it's, it's a little bit more decadent. Uh, than some of the kind of more light airy roses that I have. That said, you certainly can still wear this in the warm weather. Beautiful, sensual, signature scent worthy fragrance for sure. Next fragrance, um, I always have this in my carousel, like never am I without it. And it is Girl of Now Shine by Ellie Saab. Now, um, if it, no, even in the high heat, I think this one works. Um, it, it's, you know, again, I would just go maybe a little bit easier on it. This is orange blossom. It's got pistachio, almond. There's a note of pineapple in this. There's some ylang ylang. Uh, so this really works well with Belize, Bath and Body Works uh, Belize lotion um, with that banana in there that it really works with the ylang ylang in this. So it's slightly tropical feel, uh, but I wear this all year round. It's my favorite of the Girl of Nows. Uh, that pineapple just puts it over the top for me. When I want something kind of cozy on a little bit of a cooler uh, summer day, this would be one I would reach for. But anytime I want something cozy or like a bit of a warm blanket, I'd throw this on. That said, in the summer, because of the ylang ylang, it feels kind of uh, really relaxing too. So love this one. Next fragrance is Jardin de Misfa. Uh, this one's newer to my collection, but for sure 
Uh, this is an all year round fragrance for me. It's a kind of a tart rose fragrance. It's got dates in it, which gives it a major sweet kick. Uh, it smells airy on the skin, on the bottle. It smells very similar to something like a rose's vanille to me. Uh, but on the skin, it's a lot more airy and light. That said, it would certainly work in the winter as well because it's got that date, that sweet, that rose. Projects beautifully. I find this to be quite a feminine fragrance, although I think it's categorized as unisex. But definitely you could wear this all year round and it's you're going to just smell like a delicious... Yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous. This one's very, very classy. Smells a little bougie, but there's a bit of fun with it because uh, there's somehow a bit of tartness. So really enjoying this fragrance. Now this next one, I think summer because of the name of the fragrance, but it really is year round worthy. And that is Amouage's Sunshine. Uh, the bottle is so beautiful on this one. Uh, this one is an almond-centric fragrance. There's some white tobacco in here. There's some osmanthus. So there's a bit of a peach vibe with this one. Um, it's creamy somehow to me. It's relaxing. It feels a little bit humid. Uh, but but I don't know. Like this one, I I always have it out. Uh, and if I'm just in the mood for something that's relaxing and... Uh, cozy and just subdued somehow. I choose this one. I love the almond in here paired with that white tobacco flower. I just think it's so beautiful. It's very understatedly elegant. So I love this fragrance. Another fragrance that works all year round in my opinion is Hundred Silent Ways by Nishane. So it's a bit of a floral it, it's it's kind of a juicy floral. This has jasmine gardenia and tuberose in it. There's some peach in here. It's a bit vanillic, a bit powdery, very classy fragrance. Uh, to me, this is year-round worthy. This is very signature scent worthy. It's very elegant. You could wear it to the office, long lasting. It's just absolutely beautiful. Another one to me in that same sort of category, I don't have it personally, uh, but it's just perfect all year round is Passe Soir by BDK. That is a beautiful signature scent worthy fragrance. It's kind of a juicy floral fragrance, uh, a little bit more clear rather than powdery, but it is so beautiful, long lasting, at least on me. I love wearing that one and it's not so strong. Uh, like it definitely projects, but it's not so strong. Like something like Lanter D by Givenchy. It's a beautiful pear tuberose combination, but to me, it just gets too heavy in the summertime. Whereas something like a Passe Soir, perfect all year round and absolutely gorgeous. Passe Soir has a bit of a ginger in it and quince. So it's a little bit tart, it's juicy, it's sweet. It's a little zingy, a little effervescent somehow. Uh, and absolutely beautiful uh, all year round. Another one that is new to my collection, but I will keep it in my rotation continually, is Enigma by Roja Par Parfums. This is so beautiful. Like it's such a classy fragrance. It's got rose in it. There's some white florals. There's some peach. I just think it's a stunning, classy fragrance. The longevity, mediocre on this one. So you kind of have to overspray a bit. Uh, but as far as it being, like it projects nicely to me. So uh, yeah, it's definitely one you could wear all year round and just smell classy and elegant. Who doesn't want to smell classy and elegant? Who? I talked about this recently and um, said that my experience wasn't great wearing it. Uh, still jury is out on this one, but I want to bring it to the table because it certainly is all year round worthy. And that is Rare Tiffany by Afnan. Um, because it's got the yellow florals, I think summer, but this one certainly would project in the winter as well. There's some Ylang Ylang in here. I know there's other white florals in this too. There's some caramel in here. Um, it's just kind of that traditional kind of elegant floral fragrance, definitely floral centric. So I can see a lot of people finding this, like if you're not a floral fan, you'd want to steer clear from this one. But if you like florals, this one's a really decent one and certainly projects in the colder weather as well as the warm.
Next fragrance I have for you is Fragrance Dubois Siberian Rose. Now this fragrance, there's a juicy quality to this. It's got some pear in it. There's tuberose, rose, and ylang ylang. Uh, I get more of the tuberose, so it's definitely kind of that bubblegummy feel. Uh, this one is very juicy and jubilant. It's definitely something that works all year round. Very classy, but kind of fun fragrance. Uh, another one that is similar is actually Al Haramain's Amber Oud Gold. So both of these smell very similar to Zerzhov's Yerba Pura. So they've got kind of that juicy, zingy vibe. They're both different. They don't smell identical, uh, but they both have that same sort of vibe as Yerba Pura. So this one is uber pricey, luxe, gorgeous. Uh, this one is rather affordable. Uh, as far as the longevity is concerned, this is definitely a uh, better bang for your buck. The longevity on this is stellar, whereas the longevity on this one is about five hours. They're both beautiful, more fun, jubilant fragrances. This one, I, I, liked, I, I think of this one specifically for summer a lot of times because it's got pineapple and melon. That said, the dry down has woods in it. So I think of it as a summer fragrance, but honestly it's year round. And like, as far as projection, you can wear this for sure year round. Both of the, these very fun, very jubilant, a little bit more juicy, a little bit more bright, a little bit more vivacious for sure work in every season. Now, one that you can never go wrong with if you're a Musk fan is Pure Musk for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. This one I don't wear very often because it's got florals with the musk and I find it just slightly a little bit, I don't know, it does something prickly in my nose. That said, this is a great jeans and t-shirt fragrance, very kind of a casual fragrance, but it uh, is long last, it's a decent longevity on this one. I got lipstick on it. I'm always eating my bottles. Uh, it's decent longevity on this one for sure. Projection is very nice. And if you like that musk DNA from Narciso Rodriguez, this is definitely one that you can't go wrong with. This is a nice kind of uh, your skin but better fragrance. It's classy, so you could certainly wear it for the office, uh, but it's not going to be really out there. It's not going to be loud or like obnoxious in any way. So nice understated fragrance that smells kind of classy, even though it feels casual to me. Hope that makes sense. Uh, this one I debated on, on putting it in, but I have to mention it because you can totally wear it year round. And that's Dolce & Gabbana is the only one. Now, I don't know how many people think this, but it does smell, uh, it reminds me of Rouge Malachite by Armani Privé. So there is kind of a similarity somehow. This one has apple in it. Uh, there's a bit of coconut in it. I think it smells a little bit boozy. There's some woodiness in this one. This is a fragrance that I think works uh, in daytime uh, for the winter and more is an evening fragrance to me for the summer. Uh, although you could probably wear this any time of day, even in the summer, uh, although it would feel like a heavier fragrance in the summer, but it's still not too heavy or too cloying that you couldn't wear it any time. So it's kind of a neat fragrance. It's a little bit sexy. Um, I, I go back and forth on whether I like this one, but lately I've been enjoying it. So, uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the only one, this one's way different to me than the only one. This one, uh, sorry, this is Dolce and Gabbana, the only one intense. So, um, it's way different to me than the only one. So the only one is kind of an orange blossom coffee caramel combination. This one has orange blossom, jasmine, and neroli. I get a little bit of the jasmine. I don't know, like I, it's just white florals, but with the green apple, the coconut, and the vanilla, it just smells delectable. Somehow it smells a little bit boozy to me. Uh, it's really, really sexy. Um, so like for some people, I can see this being an evening fragrance. For other people, I can see this being a year round fragrance. Tell me if you think it smells like Rouge Malachite. 
there's something about it that kind of reminds me of that. Not that they're identical, but it kind of reminds me of that. So if you like Rouge Malachite, you'd probably like this one. We're basically halfway done. I've got nine more for you. These are my rider dies now. These ones are, are for me, honestly, easy reaches. Uh, when I want to smell put together, they're there for me, but I wear them all year round. They never, ever leave my carousel because I have to have them out. I have to have them. So yee! first one is Elisab Le Parfum. This is an orange blossom balm. There's orange blossom cedar honey. Uh, this one's got a little bit of an animalic quality, which I'm really digging lately. Like I, 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 I'm really liking it. But anyway, uh, very, very floral, very classy and elegant. Um, yeah, it's it's just awesome. If you want to smell classy and elegant, this would be the one. As long as you like orange blossom, because this is major orange blossom and neroli, and basically that's it. Like the honey sweetens it up a bit. The the cedar gives it a bit of depth, but it's pretty much floral. That's it. I have a sample of the original, uh, but I have a full bottle of Oakcha's Sweet Addict, uh, which is um, a dupe for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Uh, this is, uh, again, an orange blossom neroli kind of balm, but it's paired with some marshmallow and sweetness. Um, this one this one, I just, I find it so classy and sophisticated somehow. It smells like you're I, I, classy, sophisticated, and elegant is what I find with this one. I find the dupe to be a little bit sharper than the original. Uh, the original's a little bit sweeter, so you get a little bit more of that marshmallow. This one, you still get the marshmallow, but you get that neroli kick, uh, which is a little bit sharp off the cuff. Uh, as they dry down, they become very, very similar. The only difference uh, that I notice in the dry down is that this one is just way more potent. So this is an extract de parfum and it lasts literally all day, whereas the Killian Love Don't Be Shy, six hours max for me. This is like 10 plus. So uh, this one is great. It's just a little bit sharper. So I prefer the feel in the original for sure. And if I ever use up this whole bottle, I will definitely actually just go ahead and buy the original. I like the original bottle better and everything, but as far as longevity is concerned, this one is the cat's meow. But the profile to me works any time of year. Another fragrance that I literally can't be without, it's my mom scent and it is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Now this one, uh, the star of the show is definitely the lavender. There's a bit of licorice in this one. So some people find this one kind of masculine because they associate the herbaceous aspect to a more masculine fragrance. But this is so beautiful. It's sweet. There's a powdery quality, uh, but it's soft somehow. Uh, there's no sharp edges to this other than lavender if you don't like lavender. Uh, I just think it's a very comforting, classy, beautifully sophisticated fragrance. And to me, it smells more expensive than what you pay for this. And I also love the bottle. So this is just a major favorite for me for sure. Another fragrance that I actually like, maybe some people would disagree with me, but I think it's year round. I never take it out of my carousel and that is a uh, princess by Killian. This is just kind of sweet, powdery deliciousness. It's got some ginger in it. I think that there's some peach in this one. There's also matcha tea. So there's a powdery quality to it. It's kind of vanillic. It's quite delectable somehow. So this is again, kind of a little bit more of a cozier fragrance. It's not a major powerhouse. So if you put this on, you're going to get that sweetness. You're going to get that flirty kind of mouthwatering matcha tea, vanilla uh, kind of vibe to this one. There's a little hint of fruitiness. It's sweet. It's powdery. It's delicious. Uh, it's very sensual. And so this one, yeah, it, it's just a great little fragrance. It's not a, a majorly potent fragrance, 
Uh, so you'd overspray in the winter and spray normal in the summer. And yeah, if you want to smell kind of cozy, kind of sweet, a little bit sensual, this one's great. Now, uh, one of my favorite orange blossom fragrances recently is La Vie Belle Le Clat. Now, La Vie Belle, definitely too potent for summer, but this one is perfect for summer, but it works very well in the winter as well. This is kind of a more citrusy, juicy orange blossom fragrance. Uh, it It's pared down as far as the, the praline. I don't think there's any praline in this one. There's still a powdery quality to this one. It's very elegant. It's very feminine. I kind of want to wear this bow. Like I can see myself wearing this bow and having some sort of uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just love this bottle. Anyway, this one is perfect for office wear, signature scent uh, worthy. You get still some sweetness uh, with that floral. It's juicy. It's invigorating. It's energizing, uh, but it still stays very classy and put together. So I love this one for all year. I tend to put this one away in the winter and just pull out La Vie Belle because I have limited room, but really you can wear this any time of the year, absolutely. It's very, very versatile fragrance. I think this works for special occasions. It works for day, daytime wear, but it's also sweet and delicious enough that I can see guys really going for this one too. So really, really enjoy this one. Another one that never leaves my carousel is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. This is one of the most affordable ones. I was tempted to put love in here too because I have love out all the time as well, but just on my nightstand. Sophia is such a beautiful, classy, sweet, juicy, delicious fragrance that's uber affordable. Like I think it's 30 bucks for 100 mils on Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, uh, either one. I'll ha and I, everything will be linked down below, by the way. But this one, uh, there's some black currant in here and cassis. I think there's rose in this one as well. I think there may be orchid, some vanilla, some uh, a little bit of woodiness. It's just so mouthwatering with that black currant feel in there uh, paired with the florals. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Uh, definitely a, a, a really decent projector. It's got a little bit of a musky feel near the end, but this one lasts for like a good six hours on my skin. I never get sick of this one. It's fun to wear uh, and definitely, definitely you would smell amazing like all the time, every day uh, for lots of different occasions. So love this one. Works well for office fragrance as well. Like really, you can't go wrong with this one in your collection for sure. Another one I can't get enough of and won't put away is Edole Nectar. Really any of the Edoles, to me, they work all year round. So you can't go wrong. Lancome's really great for coming out with versatile fragrances that can be worn in many different seasons. This one, I it's so freaking jubilant and juicy and amazing. So lots of rose in this one. Uh, there's popcorn in here, caramel. Smells similar to the original. Lots of people don't smell the popcorn or the caramel. They just get rose. I get all of it. Um, I love this. It's happy. It's juicy. I'm in love with the bottle. I love that shift in there. It's so gorgeous. This one definitely rose centric, but uh, the rose is very like what I call peony-esque. So it's a very sweetened rose. Not jammy though, because there's still kind of a watery quality to the rose uh, that's very similar to the original Edol. This one is so fun. This one is like a party to me. Um, really, really enjoy wearing this one. Get compliments with this one. This one projects amazing. So absolutely love this one. I enjoy the original Edol, but to me, this one just kicks up the flirty factor a little bit more. So this one has my heart for sure. Another one that's relatively reasonable, but just so gorgeous is Trisardi Donna. 
So first of all, I I love this bottle. It's one of my favorite bottles in my collection. I think I should do a favorite bottle video because I just love them. This one makes me happy for many reasons. First of all, it feels like an uh, like a liquor flask. I used to be obsessed with liquor flasks when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I loved how smooth they felt, just like this one. Love how smooth they felt. I love the fact that, like, well, if you didn't have a chest, you could just slip it in and it fits right against your body. I don't know why, but I really liked that. Like, not that I'm going to be pulling out a liquor flask all the time, but I would have loved to have carried one even when I was a kid to drink water out of <laughs> Anyway, beautiful bottle, beautiful cap, feels luxe, but it's relatively reasonable. This is a yuzu fragrance. Oh, it's yuzu, it's florals, so it's lemony florals. This is a fresh fragrance for non-freshy lovers. So there's a bit of creamy sweetness along with those florals. There's a bit of a woody dry down, a bit of a vanillic dry down. To me, this reminds me of the filling, the pie filling in a lemon pie. So a little bit vanillic, a little bit creamy, a little bit lemony, or a lot of it lemony. That's what I get out of this one. But although this is lemon and you think kind of sunny, happy, uh, it certainly is signature scent worthy and would work in the cooler months as well. This one would be very invigorating in the cooler months. So if you need a pick me up, this one would be great, but it works phenomenal in the summer uh, for the same reasons. It's a great pick me up fragrance, but it still smells classy and sophisticated. Love this one. My last seasonless fragrance is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I talk this one to death. It's a sweet orange uh, in the opening that's just juicy and decadent and rich uh, without being too flamboyant, if that makes sense. There's a, a bit of a floral trifecta. I think there's jasmine, orange blossom, and rose in this. Um, love, love, love. I think there's ylang ylang in this too. It feels relaxing to me. It's sweet, floral, feminine fragrance. Uh, the dry down is woody. This one is uber long lasting. When I think about this fragrance, like I think it's such a beautiful grown woman fragrance. So I imagine a woman that's just getting out of college. If I were to buy someone like that a fragrance, it would be Coco Mademoiselle because it's, uh, it's really timeless, but it's a very sophisticated feminine fragrance. Uh, I love the sweetness in it. I love that little bit of vanilla in there. The longevity is amazing. So for value for money, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of this one, like 10 hours. It certainly is a fragrance that's beautiful for like daily wear, uh, works in office settings, but also works as a special occasion fragrance. I just think it's a very, very versatile fragrance. I just wouldn't be without it. For any young woman just graduating, this is like your first grown woman fragrance. Love it, love it. And that is it. I don't know how many there were, but I think there was an awful lot of them. I think maybe over 20. I'm sure I could have added more. What are your favorite seasonless fragrances? Please leave them in the comments. Tell us why you like them. Uh, to me, seasonless fragrances, really anything is seasonless. So you can wear anything you want whenever you want. Like really, there are no rules. But when I think about some fragrances, some of them get too heavy in the, the summer or they're too fleeting in the winter. These ones work no matter what the season. So uh, leave me your lists. I'd love to know uh, what you're wearing. Uh, whether it be niche or designer, it's always fun to share because there might be something there that I want to get. Uh, other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.